We'll get into the action here. It's a T start here as we get into Swole Patrol. And they're going to have two smokes. They have no upgraded pistols here. And the utilities coming out thick and fast, but the headshots Oof. are as well. That's gratisfaction from main entrance. Nails Freakazoid, and they'll make their way down towards Popdog with the smokes deployed here. And they're pulling back some headshots themselves. There's a lot of damage inflicted here, but gratisfaction gets a second through the smoke. A five on two now. This is getting out of hand. Yeah, tapped away. USPs on train. We know they can keep them at arm's length, but Grat, he found two very important frags. Yeah, so uh, look, let's set a couple of conditions to keep our eye on throughout this series right here for 100 Thieves. Uh, unfortunately, anything that gets close, any scrappy rounds, any scoreline that is not a victory, uh, will be met with disappointment, right? This is a team who we're expecting to be able to carry the torch against some of the world's absolute very best. For Swole Patrol, anything that they can show us, any glimmering rays of hope with their performance here? Anything that we can maybe go, yeah, that was a pretty cool execute, or that was a great idea. There was a good execution, good spacing, good timing, good trading. Oh, the nade. Good Second nades. round, and it's JKS who's going to be finishing this one off neat and tidy. JKS and Jacob. Freakazoid desperately trying to get that bomb down, but as it's there to pocket himself a fresh 600 bucks. Yeah, most teams will go towards the inside area on these sort of rounds just because you can normally get the bomb down, but JKS denies all aspects of that. Big spray down here from Jacob and JKS there towards the upper ramp. They did get one kill, but denied the plan. It's Azab. Managing to come in for that lower ramp, no problem at all, but there is still a full buy here for Swab Patrols into round number three. Some compromises with the utility, but they do have Creeks, AK-47, Smokes, and flashes. Let's see if they can pull this one off. <clears throat> I do like the name, Food. We haven't had a Food before. Now Jacob and Food are meeting in the flash. He was full white as he turned that corner. A little patience could perhaps have netted yeah. him a kill. That's a quick flick from Freak. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all, actually. Freak, so he pulls on back four and four now. Spots one towards Pop Dog. Uh -oh. Doesn't find the quick connection, though. So he might be punished for this. We'll see. Cooper managing to do God's work here from the IV position. Three versus two. As that holds towards Pop Dog. Good nade to actually maybe deny the plan here, which oh. it does. That's insane. What a great play that was. Bought plenty of time. Denied the plan now for even more time as the incendiary lands on top of it. Oh, that is a nasty way for this round to turn tide. Look at Azza sneak through the smoke as well. If he looks towards main, he's got himself a kill, but Freakazoid, he'll be very patient. I'll leave JKS, the clutch master of 100 Thieves here. And a two versus one. Spots the first. Freak is with, with two in total. Make it three as he closes things out there. It was a massive round for Swole Patrol. And they managed to convert. Nice shots from Freak especially. So, money's still okay for 100 Thieves. You can see the AWP of Gratisfaction coming through with a couple of rifles as well. This was a nice shot. The flick up towards Gratisfaction. Didn't see it coming. Manages to do significant damage towards Pop Dog as well. As up, taken out of the equation. And a difficult buy now for 100 Thieves as they have the AWP. SMG for JKS and Azza down to just the CZ. One of the points that you made, Henry, just there within the segment that I want to kind of push home is about Freakazoid in that entry fragging position. He was one of the, the last ride or die entry fraggers. Now the game has kind of evolved and changed, so is his play style. Main control will be offered up early from Swell Patrol here as they'll be flashed on back. Azza will get on in with the CZ75. Has a little bit of utility if he wants to drop it if he's feeling threatened. And now the default spread of Swole Patrol across the map here will have to try and get some territory back. They do have box holes towards the inner site. They haven't felt too much pressure over towards Ivy. It's just Main and Pop Dog that they don't have at the moment. And that flash food will see that Ivy is clear. Drop that smoke that we highlighted within the pro tip. And it looks like they do want to entry over towards the inner bomb site now as we can see everybody making their way towards the box holes indeed still going to be a very difficult defense here for under thieves jacob challenge towards up by jks watching lower three players to challenge now he'll do very well to right. find multiple frags but he's actually got all three that's kind of insane the ump delivers where are the flashbangs and smokes there's nothing at all thrown in they've gone for a dry peak hoping they'd challenge an awful there and get a clean trade but jks above them mows them down there farmed himself 1800 dollars worth of cash as well bomb to be dropped and swall patrol will have one player left in the form of food and uh, he'll have to hold on to the creek, I would say, at this stage. Not really much he can do with this one. Clean sweep for 100 Thieves. Pretty much what the doctor ordered, considering they went into this one with a pistol and uh, glass cannon AWP.
Yeah. Now they have three creeds. <laughs> oh, yep. yeah, yeah. It's a very good point. And, an and 1800 bucks from the SMG frags. This, has got, oh, this couldn't have gone any better for 100 Thieves. Perhaps, of course, the frag onto food, but I'm sure they won't complain. Alex, I know, uh, I know I'm going to sound like I'm being a little bit pedantic here, but before the messages come in and the phone rings off the, off the hook and we get, uh, we get in trouble, is what always happens. I know what you're going to say, desk. Uh, The thieves, even though uh, I'm about to say is grammatically incorrect, they would like to be referred to as 100 thieves. What am I saying, 100 thieves? Yeah, not 100 thieves or 100 okay. thieves. Well, it's just 100 thieves. I will try, but yeah, they need to understand that my brain will logically try and say the correct way of saying I'm it. I'm with you. I am 100% I am with you. Those goddamn fools, those thieves. Body yet for Liaz. He does have two walking in, and that nade does look pretty Ouch. down. Wow, plays food. His ears are ringing after that one. Yeah, he's the only rifle as well. Down to 61. They've taken a full eco around this as well, so not really much to work with in total. Flashbang towards main. And it looks like 100 Thieves should be able to close this one out, no problem whatsoever, considering Foo's low HP. Spamming off towards the server position, and Leas, I'm not sure what he was up to there. He managed to get himself committed to a spray as the smoke was fading. Really not ideal. That's here in a position to lose this round now, potentially. We'll see Jacob try to pick things up towards Ivy here. Cooper's on the other side, though. Turn around, coming through. Not liking this from 100 Thieves with satisfaction. Heat's on their feet here. Low HP towards main. That's a big connection, Grat 2. That was Cooper, the only real shining light of the round. And so round six then, it will be time for the Swole Patrol to make a tough choice. Will you pull out the uh, limited utility and have another go, another bite of the cherry? You can see the second frag of Grat nice and quick onto the marquee jiggle. The problem with this team's name being Swole Patrol is I just keep um, immediately defaulting to Paw Patrol. Yeah, the cartoon with all the dogs. Oh, down. your favorite. For the, for the, yeah, the one that I watch every night before yeah, bed. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. It's like Hunter x Hunter for an episode and, and then, then Paw one Patrol. Paw Patrol. It's crazy, yeah. but uh, it works. And so does this Outrush. Oh my goodness, I'm not sure it will. It's a lot of damage. I see that towards the E-Box. Grenades flying in as well. They're all stuck behind this difficult That's position, it. but Zelsus does put one back here. We'll see whether the orb is going to be able to do anything with this. There's the bomb going down. Jacob finds him a bit of space, brings it back to a two-on-one. What? There's a shot through the smoke. Double kill for JKS now, and now. Oh. Cooper, the man to watch, the big player within the squad, Freakazoid's brother, holds on and looks towards the hits. Didn't spot JKS just yet. The smoke was down. Advantage for JKS, but wow. not for long, as it will be a great shot there delivered by the Krieg and pulls him in their second round there. Needed that. That's huge from Cooper. Two fantastic shots. The final on to JKS, who did so much damage in that round. He's on 10 and 3. Well, still, Zelsis is opener. He gets the first one to Lias, but it's over the smoke. This kill blindly into Azza gave them their way in. It was Cooper to give them the way out. Nice tap. Onto JKS at range, no scope necessary. Well, a buy will come through from 100 Thieves here. A couple of Formasses, the MP9, AWP for gratisfaction. We'll see Swell Patrol make their way out towards outside, but the flames are down and taking quite a lot of damage there. Marky will find himself down to 75, but it doesn't seem to be a problem. Still rails the shot towards the E-Box as Azza going down. Out to gratisfaction to reel things in once again. Losing these opening picks. Flashbang towards main to reclaim territory. And this doesn't look good for JKS. The lineup was there, but his shot wasn't. Another kill available for Mark, but unfortunately for him, it's going to be Jake to take him out. Yeah, that's a nasty way to go down, but advantage still firmly in the grasp of Swole Patrol. There's three CTs heading for the save, it seems. Yeah, they have to. No kids. Keep that grat all flowing. Couldn't be further away from the bomb if they tried at this stage. They're going to have to save Swole Patrol to not tie things up, but get one step closer, four to three. Another successful opening jaw there. Marky towards main entrance, sitting in the flames, managing the, the cross from Azza. Nice shots. They're actually making this one quite interesting, Chad. Yeah, and to note here, Jacob's forward position there above Pop Dog. They don't actually have to exit too far away. They won't go down to the bomb, but instead they will push forward. Jacob might get an exit or two here, and this is going to be fantastic stuff. That's good news for the Thieves there. You could see how the Swap Patrol cash was already not looking ideal, and now 3.5, 3.6, and 3.8 means that guns will need to be dropped on over on that side of things. And, well, two people can't drop three guns, guys. So That's maths. Yeah, a bit, bit of a problem. But uh, the Thieves will be able to get one of their buys of their own back on the board. It will have the UMP out for JKS again. We saw the success he found with that just a few rounds ago. A couple of Famuses in the mix, AK-47 and that AWP to come across. 
Let's see if they can turn this one around. A lot closer than I thought it would be. Swole Patrol putting up a convincing fight so far. Molotovs towards the upper ramp to deny access of the AWP towards the upper ramp position. JKS has found multiple kills with UMP so far, but it's not the ideal weapon, that's for sure. Inside execution looking very likely. Cooper, but a distraction towards outside from main entrance. Flash goes in, UMP to strike again. This time, it goes for a couple, looking for a third, oh. and he just about gets it. Gratisfaction will help out. They go through the smoke with one minute 20 left on the clock there. Bit of a fumble from Swole Patrol, but very well played from that UMP. What's the, it, it, I mean, Chad, I'm, maybe I'm asking a stupid question here. Is the only reason, let me rephrase, is the only reason they're pushing that smoke is because they want to catch a CT off guard? Is there any other possible justification? I think they've tried to watch some demos here and they're, they're, they're trying to play around JKS's tendencies. Right. Otherwise, they're going with their own version of, of the gameplay and into JKS, an individual who has been playing Counter-Strike at the highest level for quite some time now. He's going to, to make the most of that situation time and time again, right? He's well and truly prepared for that. Yeah, his major appearance was in 2015 in Cologne, right? His first one. Yeah, and he's the first Australian player to ever be in the HLTV.org top 20 last year. So there you go. making history. That's awesome. So a kill brought back by Cooper. 20 seconds remaining. These. Yeah, you're probably right there. Money's not great. Considering that exit kill found... In the previous round, it looks like that will be the case here. Four players survive 100 Thieves, 15 seconds on the clock. Zelsis and Cooper to hold on to the smoke and three flashes they currently have in towards T spawn. But they're absolutely fine. They're on track for a decent half here. It's going to be 5 3 sure. Uh, but the fact they've pulled so many rounds back is actually looking pretty good, honestly, in the gun rounds. Yeah, and they all go shopping for the, uh, the rifles off of JKS's triple kill. Uh, double kill, do excuse me. Grass Faction, I think, got the third on yes. the way down that ramp. But yeah, you'll see it. You'll see it again. He timed it so well. Not only does he get the timing onto Marky up close, but he also manages to be in front of Freakazoid, who had absolutely no idea his teammate was getting shredded. So one of the things which is probably a broader stroke discussion here to be having with the likes of 100 Thieves, EG, and Liquid is how long, obviously, with, with the current situation, will they be able to maintain top form, right? We know to keep in check, we talk about having to come across to Europe, having to play the boot camps to keep your level your individual skill as well as a team constantly progressing unfortunately that opportunity will be denied for some time right now so the realms of practice will just be the teams who are in north america at the moment right and it's not a huge sample size to be picking from in this point we know the best teams in the world all currently reside in europe so the, if you're eg liquid 100 thieves do you guys practice within each other to keep your level as high as possible when the opportunities are only going to be against those other teams in the leagues you'll be playing online there's it, big questions for practice yeah it's it's kind of like we've gone back in time i mean this was the north american region My conversation life. and the australian region conversation but it was null and void for a while of yeah course. Uh, things have altered Seeing wow. a Deagle and a CZ for Marky and Freakazoid does mean that those sacrifices on the T side could have ramifications. And they've dropped some basic utility outside, but it doesn't look like to me they'll be using it at all. It's going to be Azza using this opportunity to explore towards main entrance. Marky on the other side. Lots of damage inflicted towards Ivy. And some dish back out. That's going to be food pulling one back with the scout there. Lovely work. They are not too good at holding on to the opening picks, 100 Thieves. They're normally closing out these rounds, but the scout does open things up for now. Liaz will be given the responsibility of holding Ivy with the AK-47. The bomb is down at T-Spawn. Freakzoid waits there with Zelsis at the lower ramp. Still have one smoke and six flashes remaining. Zelsis is just going to try and use a contact play towards up and see if he can open things up here. Oh, they're already out. They found an opening. Inside is clear. But Freakazoid is going to get spotted. And if he goes down, there's no one else in the site. Fortunately, it's Zelsis to quickly react and get himself into the site. But the rest now held at bay by the flame. And JKS has got the chance. He gets the information. And a four versus four now as the Swole Patrol boys are looking indecisive. Yeah, they had to try and bust through the Molotov. It hasn't worked out for them. You can see them being indecisive now, losing those rifles. It'll be up to the Krieg and Scout combo. Leo's will pull one back, tapping away here as he commits to the three kill. It is going to be a nice finish. 100 Thieves, no bomb planted. Got a bit dicey at one point with the Molotov. Held them off for so long. Not really much can do. You can Pushing see a lot down of... it, was that the answer? No, not really. It was just a very well-timed incendiary at that point. Not much they could really do. It was just very telegraphed as to where they were finishing up. You can see they're a bit apprehensive. If a spanner is thrown into the works they don't really have an answer a lot of teams would maybe fall back towards outside of that point try and just group up knowing they've been 
bested towards inside, but for now, it's going to be Swap Patrol. 6-3 down with just Glocks, no armor, no nades, full ego here. While we do have this little uh, moment to breathe, it has been 493 days since this 100 Thieves roster, previously known as Renegades, had played an online official. Wow. 493 days. There's a very, very good stat, Chad, to tell the story we've been trying to tell. It's going to go well for Marky. Only a Glock, but still, that's going to put a rifle in the hands of Cooper. We've seen what he's capable of with the Krieg. It will be unarmored and the rest of his team with absolutely nothing. Not a question of winning the round so much as it is about trying to do as much damage as you can. Keep that fragile CT economy uh, broken and also take away those T-sided weapons from the 100 Thieves. There we go. There it is. Mm. They'll be sending you some of their apparel. Apparel. Not merch. <laughs> if you can nail it every single time. I mean, to be fair, merch is a, is a tarnished word with this mod, the modern day influencer. I, I don't blame them for calling it apparel. Ooh. Just dropping a closer incendiary there, just in case anyone was hugging the wall, didn't get a full information. Just to deny the burst potential. Flashbang towards yeah. Ivy, and Cooper has snuck through. This is actually not bad at all, but only good for one. He does 99 damage towards Gratisfaction. Unfortunately, not to get the kill there. Zelsus might be able to pick it up, though, but only with the Glock at this point. Holding towards main entrance, hoping for a CT mistake. He's not saving anything here. He, of course, has to go down, uh, but hoping that uh, CT will be overzealous and maybe push into his position. We are going to find that first headshot. Can he convert it? He does. He actually gets another one. So that's actually a little bit disappointing for Under Thieves to lose three kills there to just the Glocks and save Krieg. Are you allowed to be overzealous for Zelsus? I was going to say that. that over was uh, <laughs> Over Zelsus. Yeah, that's not bad. Have you guys ever done anything with uh, with wordplay to do with like 99 damage and obviously Jay-Z's song, 99 Problems? Not uh, no. that I'm aware of. I no. think that maybe you guys could probably workshop that. I mean, um, maybe you could. Yeah, you're, you're, you're commentating I'll workshop right now. it. Yeah, uh, why don't you bring it in? We'll see if it can land. Yeah. We can get the you've ROPS got, You've got the whole soon. season. We got ROPS this week too. You have? We haven't dropped it yet. <laughs> He'd have to have be, be like, take 99 damage and then be getting a frag and you could be like, he, he's taken 99 damage, but he only needs one. Yeah. That's to the same verbatim. I like Very OTC. specific situation required, yeah. but yeah, that could work. Walking up Ivy, a terrifying prospect for every Counter-Strike player, but it will be Liaz's smoke that might incite a push from food. Does he want to no. gray screen it? No. It, there was a moment there where he could be the only player to go through, but he would be isolated, right? Oh. There's the flash, and the, again, Ivy is where they're finding kill on Liaz every single time. It's the weakest Big. part of the map so far. Round four, Swole Patrol. Call it done. Yeah, especially as that smoke lands, Gratz Faction can't do anything about this one. He's just going to be forced to back away, and he won't even be able to okay. save. Uh, I say that with bated breath. It seems Gratz Faction had other plans. He was supposed to lose his rifle to Zelsis, but a quick flick gives Zelsis his ninth and preserves that AWP for R11. They don't need a chase. You know that round before we had Zelsus uh, push into box holes and he got taken down by uh, Jake and was sitting in the shower position? Yeah. They don't need to chase this time round because they, too low, right? yeah, they need to build that base, right? Because this is still quite a few rounds left within this first half. Four on the board's not too bad for the uh, T side so far of train. If they can post anything that looks like six, that'd be fantastic news. Because 100 Thieves, they have the same discussion to be having right now. Their money's not great. They've been taking way too many individuals, especially Henry pointing out in the previous, they're losing three to Glocks alone. It's just not good enough here for the Thieves as they will find themselves having to have a bit of a higgledy-piggledy buy. Yeah, the Ivy position, I have to say, is looking incredibly weak. Might want to get gratisfaction on that side of the map or perform a few aggressive set pieces. We are going to see Train here picked by Swole Patrol. So that's why they start on the T side. Currently doing a good job, though. Money's going to be low on the 100 Thieves side of things here. Liaz will have the AWP, so a double orb set up. And that makes sense. He's been struggling towards Ivy, right? I said Gratis Faction should go there. Yeah. This is a good response as well, just to mix things up. Let's get an orb there towards the Ivy position. Liaz has not bought armor oh, yet, watching however. That. What's he doing? Oh, well, he's paused. There's a timeout, so it's, yes. It's unusual to see Liaz with the AWP, uh, just to know. It's normally JKS and Gratis Faction yes. doing the, the dual orping duties there's a little tidbit coming on in from our uh, uh what would we call our man our text man he well he goes by text guy text guy so text guy his name's david he's david a, the text he, guy he's a very tall man and he's australian i heard australians are um typically quite good at the words okay you guys make words sound um more fun 
than typical words. Yeah. Coming out of normal mouths. We do good. We do. We we basically shorten everything. Yeah. Yeah. We Learn can't get. You wouldn't get away with that uh, on the on the graphics though. No. I think the. Uh, the shorthand would go over Minnie's head. We do wait for Swole Patrol to resolve their team speak issues. Can't blame them. Communication, probably. Uh, what kind of percentage would you say that the quality of communication uh, contributes to a win in Counter Strike? Oh, throw, uh, a, percentage, <laughs> throw a percentage on communication. Uh, out of out of all different pieces of that puzzle. Yeah, of, you know when it comes down to mechanical skill, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If there was a list and communication was one of in them. In the top tier of Counter Strike, I would go as far as saying I think communication contributes to fifty percent of a wow. of a top tier team's victory. Yeah. If wow. you went out there without the ability to communicate at the highest level against other teams of your same component, you would uh, probably be struggling. And, and like, what I've always found quite annoying is that, so you've just framed my point perfectly. 50% uh, in your mind, tier one Counter-Strike is determined by communication. And yet, you know, it's such an unquantifiable for the people watching at home. We will never know uh, unless we get a good interview, which, uh, you know, it's not always a guarantee, that we, you know, we'll never know the quality of the communication. We'll never know the quirks of the communication, how it impacted the gameplay. It's such a lovely, unexplored part of Counter-Strike competitively. It's a bit sad that we can't dive into it more and have it publicly a little bit more. I, I know why the players want to hold on to it so close to their chest. It's where all of their ideas, of all their course. strategy comes from. But it is such an interesting part of the game just to hear what goes on behind closed doors. Yeah, and then you throw in some gameplay. We see the missed comms. We see how they translate. God, it's, you know, it's a, it's a whole new look into the, uh, the puzzle pieces. So we talked about Ivy. We talked about Lian. And we talked about his struggles. The AWP that you predicted now with the Kevlar vest that you questioned. Yeah, that, that's exactly what you want to see from that adjustment. He's died two or three times. That's why AK-47s. Of course, they're going to keep punishing that position. He changes things up with an AWP setup. Gets the opening kill. Jobs are good. And they shouldn't be attacking that position as much at this point. Marky, though, takes a oh. lot of damage there. A couple more ticks he was done for. Down to 26. He's still vulnerable to the grenades. Luckily, though, Jake will just be deploying a smoke as he gets himself set up here. A ladder just bounces that off the main entrance roof. Nice stuff from him. Let's see whether this is enough, though. Bomb okay. thrown on the back and making his way towards Ivy. Three Kazoid trying to pick up the pieces where food left off. So, Cooper being set up there with a smoke and a Molotov does suggest he might be doing the Z smoke. Yep, yeah, he's got it in his hand. It's not the lineup I would know. I, I've seen typically between the boxes. Maybe it's going somewhere else. Okay, so it's in front of the bomb train instead. Now as is getting a little hot and bothered, he is currently having a duel with the pop dog player. And he, for now, as he stands, enables Liaz to hold the line. Now he's fallen. Now there's a gap. Has to reposition. Two remaining free cards low, but he's still hitting shots. 2v2 now as they flood into the site. And just like that, they're met by bullets. It was looking pretty decent there for Swole Patrol at one stage, but they did lose the opening pick. Nice recovery to bring it down to a two versus two, but couldn't get the bomb planted. Should lead them to an eco here. You can see Cooper at 2300, Zolz is 35. Outside approach. Once they do lose the opening kill, you can see them slow right down. It's their mid-run decisions. You can see not quite at a world-class level. We've seen them be apprehensive when things at the incendiary or a smoke lands at a choke point they want to push through. Uh, very set-piece orientated, or at least their objective at the start of the round they want to stick to. Swole Patrol, that is, as they get into a force by scenario. You can see Galil's and Ooh. an opening shot from Cooper connect, but not quite find the kill. That's as done 41. Still inquisitive in his nature. Cooper looks towards the hitch and decides to pull back now with a bit too much activity. You can only stay in that position for so long as well because the push from the CTs, if they're going to come up to the sandwich position or if they get close to that E-box wall, which he knew was a possibility, he can get flashed and swung on. So that thing has a timer when you're one of these T-sided AWPers. It's not a matter of just sitting and waiting to hit your shot. There's all these other factors you have to keep in mind. And now the run boost to potentially open things up. I love it. Flies across, does get spotted out by, I imagine, he has, yeah. Still responsible for Ivy. He's left alone this time. Last time, after he found the kill, he went and played close up towards Ebox with the remainder of his team. This time, he's been left on an island. We can see there's no close rotation, nobody back him on up here, as uh, two players will be holding in this very forward position of Pop Dog. It's a setup we see time and time again. Can be very powerful. Throw it in once a half. Especially as it being low as well, allows him to focus just on the Pop Dog room back up from main entrance if required. 
35 seconds here, though. Where are they going to go? Ivy with the bomb, trying to split towards outside. They need to break through the pop dog area first. Totem drop looking very likely here. Coming down any second with 20 seconds on the clock. Here it comes. And it will work out. You can see how that setup can crumble very quickly if both players are looking the other way. Yeah, Elias is going to get caught from the Ivy Pincer Time. as well. Only 14 seconds. Gratz getting pushed from every angle. Cooper continues. He started this round, and that frag is going to confirm the victory as well. Nice work from Swole Patrol. Looks like they've put the fifth on the board. Very good adjustment there. Just as I was speaking about the setup that they did last round, 100 Thieves fell into something very similar. Last time around, Jacob was over towards Sandwich, Liaz was up towards Ebox, and Azza was alone in Pop Dog. They've gone for a variation of a similar setup, and what Swall Patrol did to punish it was pincer those two hemorrhaging positions, right? If you get those kills in Pop Dog, that's basically the round. The fact that they get both, Jacob couldn't even turn. We saw with that drop that Azza just didn't do enough yeah. to make that interesting. He had 41 HP and an MP9. It was very optimistic to think he was going to get even one kill with that totem drop there if he doesn't get both they're almost certainly going to go down there's always going to be a two for one trade and in fact they've got nothing for it so well done to swallow patrol considering the time was low there 20 seconds on the final commitment three players towards the end of ivy they had to win this pop dog drop down and freakazoid does so in spades nice work from him double kill comes through and that enables them to win the round has to be the force by the looks of things here from 100 thieves with the last couple of rounds coming through eight five right now very competitive since Sword Patrol, I have to say. After losing the pistol, chasing for their sixth round, they could actually finish this half 8 7. If they win this one, lost bonuses won't be there. 400 Thieves will get $1,900 on top of what they have right now, which is zero. Setting themselves up and up. Spread out defaults. So all patrol will just be holding on to their utility, waiting for aggression towards main, just making sure that no one can go down early. Knowing they're up against rifles now, those bullets have been fired off. No orp on the T side. Oh, Cooper, I beg your pardon, has caught one towards inside, watching towards upper right now. Looking for any sort of aggression on the CT forces. In terms of the inside setup, we've got JKS there with Jacob, still with an incendiary and a smoke. Twice he's been tested inner, and twice JKS has got a quad kill on that inner take. Azza has got a suspicion. If he goes up that ladder, there's no way he's got the balls for that. And he will just be playing close pop. There is going to be that slow rap from food to oh, join. The low them. ramp smoke. <laughs> And this time they're ahead of it, and Jacob wasn't ready. Caught off, his nade looks promising, though will get licked by the flames of Cooper. Now Inner is open, the rotate's coming in from Graz Faction, but Freakazoid's in prime position to collect. This is looking good. This should be six. There's nothing the CTs can do about this one. Definitely not. It's going to be another convincing round here for Swole Patrol. Here are the scores so far. JKS at the very top is 16 and 5. As I haven't really seen much from him at all, to be yeah. honest with you. 3 and 9. Cooper, though, as expected, at the very top there with his brother. Both of them in double digits, 12 and 10, respectively. Haven't seen much from Food, even though he has got a cool name. He's also with some high-impact moments. Marky patrolling towards the main entrance most of the time, doing a, a reasonable job, I would say. But this is a decent half, and they've Six actually got the advantage... Great. Going into the last round here, they should be able to get seven. There's only going to be the M4 and CZ saved here with a flashbang. So things not looking good for 100 Thieves at all, to be honest with you. Chad, your 100 Thieves is the last round of the half. You know your money's screwed. What on earth are you saying in TeamSpeak? One of the things that they've been having an issue with here is being dictated late round, right? They're getting caught in these scenarios where they're being overwhelmed by the Swole Patrol individuals. We had... Uh, Two rounds ago, obviously, the Pop Dog Ivy split on Yard where the individuals weren't able to hit any shots. And here towards inside, a little bit of timing goes against them. And from there, Snow, uh, Snow Patrol. Okay, that's another throwback. <laughs> Swole Patrol. Well, they're Snow able to... Uh, Jesus. I forgot about them. There, it wasn't one of their songs in the uh, theme song for the OC. Probably, yeah, which we were talking about the other day. I love that song. Ridiculous. Snow Patrol. Throwback Thursday, ladies and gentlemen. And Liaz to be tested again on Ivy. This does feel like a throwback to the last few rounds. Oh. They're boosting over the smoke. He's been tagged up already. This time, perhaps, he does have the support. A scout only, Azza. And Liaz is the one with the rifle. I can't help but feel he might want to throw that to someone a little Great more healthy. Aid. He has. Yeah, that actually makes up for it. He takes a lot of damage at the start, but this is some out as well. Flashbang thrown into the mix. Two players make it three towards Ivy. As as a like we said, quiet game from him so far. Only 35 ADR. Watch his pacing towards Ivy. 
Outside finish looking likely again. Bomb gets thrown on the ground as Cooper takes matters into his own hands. We'll see if he can open things up towards the back track. Smoke goes down on the right hand side, but no one to receive the orb shot. See Zed moves into a close range position. Good smoke as well. Buys enough time. Holds him at bay. He was very cavalier about that though, right? Made a lot of noise. Elephant foot on in. So do they go back tracks here, considering the right-hand side is smoked? That's just gone down. So that's clear. They're smoking the left and focusing on the sunny side. Very, very telegraphed. Flash. Not going to catch him. And Azza should collect a double. Very clinical work for the last round of this first half. And Grass Factions even managed to reposition with his CZ. That's the half then. Thieves confirm it. And we will see nine to six. Swole Patrol came to play. Their map, six rounds on the T side. Looking hopeful coming into the second. Chasing love in an empty bar Pour a drink till I make it past The midnight hour seems to come and go But I know Walk on up with a drink in hand Sipping mixes cause you can And all the lights begin to switch on Second half of the first map, second series, but the first one of our Group C. Yes, we're back to North American region, 100 Thieves and Swole Patrol clashing. And we've already seen evidence to suggest that Swole Patrol, specifically Cooper, have come to play today. I am the voice machine. We have Henry G and Chad also filling your ear holes with their vocal goodness. Yes, you certainly do. We're going to try and bring you more of that in this second half. Swole Patrol with six, I would say an impressive six, Chad. That's not what I expected at all. It wasn't flustered. They felt like they kept their cool and they continued with their game plan, which was exploiting that Ivy position and it seemed to work time yeah. and time again. So right now, 100 Thieves have been put on notice a little bit. It's not been good enough so far. No, it hasn't. We can, we're expecting a, a convincing 2-0 here for 100 Thieves. Like that's the way it should be going down at least. Right now, really up in the air. 
as to who will be taking this first map. It's the pick of Swell Patrol, and maybe you can see why. How will their CT hold fair, though? They currently have two players holding towards Inner, and it's going to be Zelsis on top of the bomb train and Cooper towards a the connector. They have got a smoke and a diffuse kit. The rest of the players with four sets of Kevlar here. And in terms of the 100 Thieves finish, they've got two smokes flashes themselves. Looking to finish up towards outside, potentially. You can see a bit of a fake here, Chad. Bombs towards Ivy, flashes inside. This is very Team convincing. as well. Oh, no, it's all gone wrong for Swole Patrol. Oh, Maybe not. Hold on, they have spotted the bomb, though. This might be okay. Marky will fend them off towards the Pop Dog as they make their way out. Do they go towards Backtracks now? Time will tell oh, Cooper. Hooper. He doesn't care where they're heading. He's a Cooper Trooper. Not going to find another one just yet. They are starting to advance in his position. Another chance and another frag. Cooper triple kill in the pistol. He has kept that T side momentum flowing through his veins. 30 seconds. The dude's gone insane. They do see as a no armor. It's worth noting that he is going to be even more in hot water. Every bullet extra painful and that aim punch to consider would have been a factor. Down to 40 though. Bombs in the open. This one here is so hard to pull off. Yeah, if he even gets one kill, I'll be impressed at this stage. Focusing towards Connect, maybe he could find an opening, but they should shut him down as soon as he grabs his bomb. Desperately trying to get it down. They can sacrifice uh, at least one. That's going to be Cooper, and at least he will get that final frag. It's going to be four in total for him as he continues to add to his total now. 16 and 10. Massive pistol. They're going to be fired up, up, Henry. I can tell you. I can just, I'm not in the comms, but yeah. I can tell you now that, would, that round would have really got the adrenaline and testosterone own flowing oh for sure on the latter as well just the name alone you know what these boys are about and we'll see that final kill come in denying the bomb most importantly meaning they can't buy up in this second round they have to take the full eco and allow them to go nine to eight essentially buying up ak's and Kriegs in the third and with these we'll just try and operate in the exact same manner swell patrol did in the first half you remember try and get five players towards inside if you get one kill maybe not even that you can sometimes get the bomb down bit of spam from marky here as you can see them crouch beneath it doesn't actually connect so not a huge deal so one flash over, send everyone in. But there is a close player at the lower ramp. That's going to be Zelsis behind the smoke for now. He's got the perfect weapon for this job. And off we go. It's Cooper who actually does all of the heavy lifting. Zelsis has just had his perfect 4K stolen from him. Oh, that's a bit rough, isn't it? What that does tell me, though, 100 Thieves taking the save there, is a positive sign. It means that they are treating these guys with yeah. the level of respect that they need to. They didn't just go in for a, a lackadaisical half by with a scout, maybe a deagle and a little bit of utility, hoping to be able to pull off a round. They took a full save, knowing that here in round number 18, that things are about to get hot and sticky because they've got out those creeks. Sometimes though, those clean sweeps can come back to bite you. Sure, you save a lot of money, but you don't necessarily have the firepower going forward. The MP9s, the UMPs are out for masses as well. Object if it's what we're told, of course, to win the round, but they can make it as expensive as possible. They will have enough to buy in the next. Cooper could even bring out the AWP. So we'll see how they fare. And Zell's just now set up for the inside plate. Same position as JKS found success with the UMP. He'll have to do the same with the MP9. Smoke down. Just is about to commit as well. They've got to go through with the flashbang. Very strong indeed. We didn't see that from Swole Patrol. Yeah, very effective. Grass factions there to clean up the back side. But now, Zelsis and Cooper continues. A double kill on the entrance into the site. 100 thieves. Excuse me. 100 thieves. I'm bloody hell. I need to do this. I need a 30 minutes in the mirror just saying it wrong. When we went to Beijing, Alex, I think I called 100 Thieves Renegades every single segment. <laughs> so it took me an yeah. entire event just to get past the name I change. still have to like say Renegades and then whisper to myself, X Greyhound, just so that I, <laughs> I know yeah, what I'm talking about. I do as well. That, that really does help me out. <laughs> that was a, a pretty worrying round, right? We saw the same thing within the first half. You mentioned before that Swell Patrol, they didn't have the successful flash. Yeah. Uh, this time round, well, the Thieves did, but still the amount of frags that followed was Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is an earthquake in the studio and his name is Alex Machine Richardson. <laughs> he has apologized to all of your ears at home uh, and Henry and I are now, we can, we can get Partially our fingernails <laughs> out of the desk. <laughs> we are going to see a big spray down here as Freakazoid goes it down with the Krieg. The Glock's not doing too much here. Swarm Patrol are going to take the lead on their map pick. Almost certainly at this point, not too much gratisfaction can do with just the bare minimum. The entry level pistol, and at this point, JKS just waiting by him as well. The bomb's already gone down. So has Grat and JKS. That's the lead, Henry. The lead found for Swole Patrol indeed. As the money starts to stabilize now, 100 Thieves 
have gone zero and four in this second half. Well, there's one man to thank for that, and that is Mr. Cooper, Freakazoid's brother. He was the man to watch going into this one. We've had Hunter exceeding Nico recently, and now Cooper exceeding Freakazoid. Not exactly the same level. No. But still, it's uh, it rings true. He's uh, Freakazoid's the, the more well-known of the two, and uh, not stepping up to the same manner as Cooper is. Fantastic work as the double orbs that have come through, and we'll see the first shot rattled off towards main entrance at this stage. Not going to be connecting, and it's going to be a fast pace up Approach. JKS will find the first, spraying through the smoke towards Ivy. He'll get Freakazoid at the very least here. And they'll slow things down. Gratisfaction. Big shot towards Cooper. The danger man so far has been removed. And I don't see a world where they give this round up. Maybe this flashbang has something else to say. Great as up well. with a coordinated airstrike and the bullets to the face. He's starting to warm up now. And we'll get ourselves a five versus one. Food, the bottom performer so far. Five and 11. We'll be holding towards CT steps. So that's much better, Chad. you got to... Uh, Respect what 100 Thieves have done there. Didn't really give much up at all. Execution towards the Ivy area. Managing to get the smokes down. A slight gap for JKS to exploit. And then at that point, a very clean run. Yeah, so that kind of flight path that JKS just ran is something that Carrigan within the Mouse Sports roster has been doing a lot of. He even drops his own main smoke. Yeah. So if they do try and Molotov his position, he's still able to get on out. But what's unique is they push down through Olof. They get to Sandwich and then they double back. They'll take the Sandwich, use the five lane smoke, pivot now and clear E-Box which will then allow your second wave of players over towards team main to be able to scuttle on out, take the jewel towards connector if you need be, and then storm the yard in that position that we just saw. All five players staying alive. Very clean round there from the Thieves. Yeah, just what you wanted to see, really, as we might be taking a tactical timeout going forward. This was the gap created. JKS exploiting it, finds Freak Zoid, as it then really comes to life. A nice HE kill on towards a bomb site, then follows it up with a crispy Krieg spray at range. Does manage to find his... Abe Frag, he was struggling in that first half as they tie things up 10-10. You'd actually give the favor towards Swall Patrol if you're basically on the map alone as the CT sided affair. And they still have that double orb set up ringing true at round number 21. Smoke doesn't actually do much to the CD side. You see Jake can still see above it, but the grenade certainly does assist him. Lands successfully on the doorstep of Gratisfaction, takes him down to 59. Up close and personal for Cooper here. 22 kills so far. This could be another. Looks like a good angle to me. JKS needs to be very careful, and he might not be. Cooper, aware of both possibilities. Does he nail the shot? Good. It actually is. That's, that's yeah. a really solid CT side hold. The double orb setup to make a lot of sense here. You got Cooper playing in front of the smokes to shut down any execution potential there. They couldn't bust out a main entrance. They're struggling towards Ivy. 100 Thieves, they're not looking their best here, Chad. I have to say, this is not a team that's convincing me they're of top 10 stature well, at this point. I did ask Gratisfaction about the whole mental side of things. He said it shouldn't be happening again. But regardless of that, we know Astralis, Na'Vi, other big names here within the Pro League hadn't kicked off their debuts in necessarily mm. the way that they would have wanted. However, with the stark contrast in this group, with how head and shoulders above the rest, 100 Thieves, EG, and Liquid should be from their running mates. I guess you could say Furia might be a team who we, we would expect to get a couple of up upsets, and MIBR have players of the caliber to do so, even though they have just lost their coach of Zeus. Swell Patrol with a name who were not even considered a dark horse. So what they're showing right here is they are composed. They've definitely been doing their homework and the practice that we'd all expect. Now all they have to do is close out the CT side of trains. So this one here is looking more and more likely every round they mount. Freakazoid, a real chance here. Leaping out of the smoke, backs a turn. He's only getting good for one. Yeah, but it could be enough here. The fact that Food is in a prime position towards Ivy, he will seize back control and get a double kill. Whoa. Bomb goes down and we have to go Jacob with 28 HP, but a chance here. Zelsa service steps the mark. Orb. 
means the HP isn't a fact here. Flashbang sees him, but the shot's even better. Three kills for food as he takes his total up to eight and 11. Been very quiet up until now, but that could be one of the most important rounds so far. Money is at an okay spot for 100 Thieves. They have got a buy available to them, but time is running out. This is the pick of Swarm Patrol. On the CT side, you can see why it's looking very controlled and disciplined. No panic setting in so far. The double orb setup makes a lot of sense here. And we'll see food. Finally sort of, yeah, finding some form here. You know, to be honest, I didn't even, uh, during the veto phase, have a look at what the third map was going to be because I had no consideration we might even be going there. I need to reconsider that now because... It's Inferno, I believe. Yeah, that one could get messy. And it's going to be an all-in play toward inside. They threw the Molotov. They pushed on in. Straight away. And now flooding in to Zelsitz's spray. A double, a triple. 100 Thieves absent in round 23. There's only two left. They're shell-shocked by the nade. They have clawed back an avenue into this round. Round, and that's thanks to JKS. He finally silenced Zelsis, and now with the bomb down and gratisfaction, Molotov into the open. It's going to be all on to JKS. He's look, having to clutch and ace, and now he's oh, swallowed no. a nade. What could you do? Not, They're both holding the exit. Yeah, not much at all, I'm afraid. This is another very convincing one for Swole Patrol. Big spray down coming through, and it's Zelsis holding the front door admirably there towards the inside bomb site. Chad, they've got 100 Thieves pushing down the, the sidewalk area. Yeah. It looked like he was absolutely ready for that. He's holding the back of the bomb train. They weren't even aware of his position. Well, the fact that they took Cooper, who was the failsafe, down first, they should have been able to clean up Zelsis with ease, right? But the fact that he gets the first one, I'll give him the second one. He was already spamming. But this third kill, never in a million years should he be getting that kill. Yeah. And I have a feeling that Azza may have been partially team flying there because as he had just come around the corner I think his hand was up over his face so that might come into play here oh, they will be able to get another buy that plant helping them out Krieg or two yeah but a couple of galils as well not ideal they won't have the reliable AWP of gratis faction that's for sure he's down to the lesser of the rifles flashbang being set up here 13-10, Swole Patrol. No one thought they'd even have a look into Pro League so far, but now looking very good on the CT side. Managing to string together. Three rounds in a row. 7-1 in total in the second half. 13-10 overall. Cooper can take liberties with his aggressive main hold because of the double hold on Ivy. To be safe in the knowledge that the, the back is safe and oh the timing just before the smoke plumes cooper can strike into Azza. and there's more where that came from only the one for freakazoid Liaz, however already low in that frag onto freak food extending the lead for swole patrol and now this does just look like a formality with Liaz at six hp he's got one frag but the chances of another are slim he's done it oh. gets another one but does not get away food makes short work of him well there it is another success round for swole patrol one away from map points here lost bonus the only thing keeping 100 thieves within this first map now they really are struggling at this point cooper beats Azza to the punch getting him just before the flashbangs and smokes were committed nice shot from food to close things out as well that was actually up in the air considering Liaz is low hp he has an orb as well he doesn't hit that shot could have been in trouble it's a u.s air force tactical timer the first from 100 thieves so far could be a bit Kass late kassad probably got a lot of things to say here yeah could be pulling his hair out right now because look uh, we came into this saying that 100 thieves were built on a fundamental base we also said that they were the better team then Swole Patrol across the board, more experience. But the thing that they should have over Swole Patrol as well is the firepower. But the way that 100 Thieves approach the game, your individuals don't get an opportunity just to show that, right? They don't necessarily have that uh, string in their, in their bow to fall back on. They just go with their fundamentals, with their executions, with their set pieces that would work against other teams. But it's not working here. You can see that they're just running outside, doing all their set nades as they would, same way it would be dry run against the best teams in the world, but they're not landing the shots, and that's the problem against no matter who you're playing. Well, they've gone for a, not a full investment here, but certainly quite a heavy one. You can see MAC-10s and a Krieg pulled out. They've hovered around $2,000. Liaz with just that Krieg in hand. He's got a smoke and a flash to go with it. 
We'll see whether this is where they can start to come online on this T side. It has to be an inside execution. All five players here. They'll smoke it. down. And this hasn't been a great area for them. It's going to be Zelsus again, who got 3k before. Can he replicate? He's by the smoke. It's a good flashbang. They will shut him down on the second. Puts a rifle into Azza. Graz faction on Tomaki. This is shaping up nicely. But over the smoke is Freakazoid. Liaz's rifle, the only one purchased, finally does fill the feed. But numbers are relatively level. 3v2 as we prepare ourselves for the retake. It's going to be one hell of a retake here. They've got a smoke down for the C4. Flash is available as well. Cooper looks for the entrance. Food starts to creep his way up. Time ticking away here. What's their play going to be? They have to smoke that bomb over the defense eventually. Good flash and swing from two players there. That should confirm the round here. Luke can do nothing about it. Not a bad shot at all, though, from Cooper. Gets himself 26 now. Looking to salvage one final rifle, if possible. JKS will do that. Gets a Mac 10, upgrades it to an M4 and gets the hell out of there. So they avoid map points at least. A desperate inside execution. Zeus is only good for one this time. It's a flashbang that's been very effective as they come through the gray screen. 100 of these managing to cause chaos there and at least hold on for now. It's still very worrying, right? This wasn't a convincing round by any means. And that problem starts to get amplified now when I speak more about these executes. There's no problem with 100 Thieves throwing whatever they have, right? We can see as many yard executes, we can see late executes. I'm sure they have every single strat you could possibly want to have. They'd have dry around it. They'd know the smokes for it. Mm. Their issue right now is just putting themselves in positions to find these kills because the game can play out like any high level match with the level of respect that they're currently giving to Swole Patrol. They should be able, JKS should be able to run around the server right now and take some fights, you know, be put in a position where he can yeah. find them an opening or two. I don't think they're anticipating this level of play from Swole Patrol here. They're, they've approached this like an actual top team. They're, they're looking very good, but that's not bad from Liaz. Weird interactions here across the map. It is going to be just a partial investment oh. from the CT side that saved Orb, unable to connect. It's, it looks like we do have a round for 100 Thieves here, but it will be compromised. Zeus is putting one back with the P250. Smokes down. Food, does he want to push it? Yes, he does. Could actually deny the plant here. He's got enough time to do so. He did. The trade comes through. Two versus one. Zelsis has got a Krieg now. Bomb to be planted this time. Problem is, Zelsis towards inner. Last time they saw him, he was just above Pop Dog, where he took down JKS. So the idea of a main or Pop Dog flanker on the cards, but also this opportunity to go back on through CT spawn. Whether or not he wants to go for this or just hold on to the weapon, it looks like the decision will be made as he just postures towards the CT stairs. That Krieg is a bit of a tantalizing prospect to take forward into the next round. So we'll be thinking better of going and throwing it away. Yeah, I think that's the right move. Considering he's got 3,400 right now, can drop the AWP as well going forward. JKS starting to rack up those kills as well. 23 to his name. Azza has broke through in double digits. We have got Food picking things up as well. He's also found himself at 11. Zelsis, solid inside play so far. Starting to work his way up the leaderboard as the bomb goes off. Swap Patrol still need to find a couple of rounds yet. They don't really have the resources to do it. Going into round number 27, as you can see, Around $2,400 on Freakazoid, Food, and Cooper. Zolsa saves the Krieg, but unfortunately for him, 4600 they could buy into this. He could drop one Krieg and an M4. I would say take the partial here, drop some Deagles, see what you can do there. It will go 14-13 for sure, but at that point, you'll still have a full buy. You go back to that double orb setup, which is working so well for them. That's where they should be trying to close the game out. Yeah, worth highlighting as well for any of our newer viewers. If you're reading that stat, you may get a false impression of Swole Patrol uh, and their uh, and their current state status in competitive Counter-Strike. They have recently, as you heard from Cooper in the interview, been competing in the MDI leagues, which is the tier two uh, of the pro league, as you, if you will. There is a, a clear path and a progression there. So there is, it's worth noting that yes, they're undefeated, but uh, it's against opponents of a, of a lesser caliber to the one they face here in the server today. 100 Thieves, ranked eighth and ninth respectively across the various world rankings. Let's see if Swole Patrol can close this one out. It's not gonna be a, the easiest of rounds. Of course, that preserved Krieg is the only thing that they're gonna be bringing into this round. Could be enough. Krieg on the Position CT forward. side. Yeah, it's not a bad spot getting boosted up and connector as well. He wouldn't necessarily preempt that. Krieg so he gets himself in towards that said position. CZ could be deadly in this sort of spot. Is this where they can find map point? Waiting patiently, Freakazoid. Try and listen out for any sound cues here. Vulnerable to grenades, but might as well take the gamble. As a flashed in, does a free fire. Well, the flash is very effective. As you can see, Freakazoid has to spam off CZ bullets. 
And at this point, they'll help themselves towards outside. It's an inside stack here from the CTs. Bomb to be planted. Round should be going in favor of the Australians. Where did that main flash come from? Did anyone see it? Graz faction threw it. I couldn't tell you where it came from. I think it was T-Spawn. I'm going to see if I can find that. Yeah, because that really skybox. caught him on that tight yeah. corner. Very effective. So just a bit of a formality here. As to whether they get any exit kills, they shouldn't, considering five are alive. You don't need to go hunting it. You know, he's got deagles. Marky will make his way through, managing to at least get by the bomb train. Close. Good effort, but uh, unfortunately won't convert the kill. Just fending them off in the bomb here. It's going to be food, looking for those exit kills we talked about. As is fine to stay in this position, doesn't have to go any further. Dickens the hold towards the main entrance as a squad and be absolutely fine. Food will swing it at the end. Look for one. Even if he gets it, he'll be traded out. Not going to happen. But they will hold on to the Krieg on the CT side here. Swall Patrol's pick. They had a massive lead, uh, starting to crumble at this point, but the double orbs almost certainly coming out here in the next round. I just went back and had a look at that flash there. Maybe the reason that Freakazoid turned into it was because it actually dribbled off the floor. It didn't instantly pop mm. once it hit the ground. It actually bounced and trickled one further. So maybe Freakazoid thinking once he had heard it initially hit, it was going to be a pop flash. It wasn't. And uh, look, luckily for the Thieves, it, it wasn't. Because if he was able to get a kill right there, he could have actually held them out of uh, that main position and that round could have gone in a whole different trajectory. They could have been sent to inner site where the stack yeah. lay. Uh, it's, it's powerful uh, ifs and buts of Counter-Strike. 13 to 14. 100 Thieves then stringing together a couple. Magic number, just two away for Swole Patrol to take their map pick. I would consider it a necessity considering Vertigo's up next. 100 Thieves have been somewhat of a uh, front runner, leading leader of the pack regarding that map and a couple of other names at the tip of the tongue. We're going to be seeing some aggressive and early smokes thrown out by the T side here. Well, we are off. Big, big round here. Just the single sniper on the CT side. So food opting for the rifle instead. Warp has been working out for him towards Ivy. This time will be the M4. It's more of a defensive manner, holding the smoke as soon as he feels any activity on that side of the map. He'll drop that down and buy some time. Feels safer now, though. There's the smoke, though. Towards Pop Dog, we focus. Jacob trying to get a spam through. No bullets connecting just yet. Those certainly Huge do, though. Kill. Yeah, big. Just as he goes for either a reload or a reposition, that's when Marky comes round and catches him by surprise. This round becomes very difficult to win now. A five on five with the T side of train is already hard. A 4v5 becomes even more difficult with 55 seconds left on the clock. They don't have any control of the map that we can see other than box holes. They go towards inside. Cooper's there with the Orpa connector. There is also one player on the bomb side in the form of Zelsis. He's got the Krieg. This should be their round. Smokes will come down to block vision, though. Flashbangs are decent, but the shot's even better. That's happened twice now. As a, before the smoke blooms, he gets caught by Cooper's Orp. Timing just a little off, and Cooper hasn't stopped there. He actually caught JKS as well on the entry, and oh, now no. they're messing up their mollies. 100 Thieves aren't looking like the team to, to, I was going to say, never mind. I don't want to get too extreme. But they're looking like the worst team here on train. Yeah, and I, I think that uh, the T side of train can be a very hopeless place for a lot of teams, right? It doesn't matter of what caliber you are. If you're getting shot out of your mid rushes, if you're unable to do a successful inside pop, the map can start to become very barren, right? Ivy's a difficult place to take if you're getting bullied out of Pop Dog. All of those are areas of the map that you have to be winning duels and winning air, winning fights on, right? So if you're not getting any success there, it can be very hard. Looking for overtime now. 100 Thieves do have a full buy. Will they change the pacing up? Jacob seems to think so, getting himself towards Olaf. Not slowing down just yet. Beats the incendiary and tucks himself in towards Sandwich. But there are players around. Oh. Granis Faction will get the opener. Saves his bacon there. And there will be the second frag following it up. Money won't be great on the CT side if they give this round away. And it's looking good for 100 Thieves so far. Cooper, the last line of defense, can only find one here. Zelt is just on the MP9. They'll have to give in. Overtime looking likely now with this final kill coming through momentarily. Zels is holding to a connector, smoked out, won't be able to do anything about this. Maybe he recovers a creek, but I doubt it very much. Yeah, I'm not sure he's even going to make it through the smoke. Leah's staring at it. The economic damage also at this point isn't huge because if it's likely he gets one kill. His best bet is if he can hold on to any upgraded weapon. Yeah. 
uh, in terms of loss bonus, they'll get $1,900 on top of what they have right now. So they're only at stage one at this point. Leanne has to close things out. He'll check all his angles and find the clean sweep there. Money is in a very dangerous spot. Might be the tactical timeout required for Swole Patrol here on their map pick. They have found map points. They would remain on the CT side if you went to overtime. MR3 16K on the cards, which is looking incredibly likely now, considering their money is so broken here for round number 30. Still impressive scenes. Swole Patrol, the fact they've even got to this stage and guaranteed overtime is uh, impressive to say the least. As we'll see, another timeout used by them is their third. Brought to you by the US Air Force, our tactical timeouts, and not really much can be said here. They're going to have to just bring out what they can, which isn't going to be much more than CZs and SMGs, a single rifle there. Didn't save anything from the previous round. The MP9 was given away. And then we go to a final round to start momentarily. Will we see overtime on Swap Patrol? Taking a very unexpected first map. Coach has timed out. Having a lot of that today, coaches. Yeah, you'd think they'd be the ones uh, with the least amount of moving parts here. Yeah, nothing really to do or input to the server. Just need to watch, really. Occasionally, you get to speak. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you are just joining us, the first game, the inaugural play in the North American region here, EPL Season 11. 100 Thieves versus Swole Patrol. Sounds like a bit of a mismatch on paper. You'd be right to think so. This is why it's such a interesting current state of affairs. Swole Patrol at map point, 100 Thieves on the back foot. We'll see whether they can close things out here where they have the massive advantage of round number 30. They have everything they need. Orbs, Kriegs, AK-47 up against not much else. You can see they've even just investing in the pistols out of the end yeah, there, Chad. Get some deagles in. Treat yourselves, might as well. Upgrade that Glock to a PT-50 or a deagle. The people at home might be a little bit happy with how uh, the North American Pro League shaped up this time. I know in the past, like, why did North America have so many teams? Look, that's a fair, a fair uh, question mark. Well, this time around, they've only got six, and uh, three of those teams are considered to be top ten in the world. And Furia, well, they're a threat as well. So whatever teams happens to Furia, uh, obviously they changed player. Abel J got dropped down. They brought in Henny. Uh, their play style was was very streaky and, and hard. Uh, sorry, and easy to easy to counter. So now that they've kind of uh, getting into the tier one counter strike world they've been uh, found out so they've been say. quiet haven't they oh. yeah this oh Ooh, here we go this is very telegraphed though decent grenade i suppose won't do a oh actually take it back there's a load of damage towards liaz and uh they'll at least know there was an inside probe doesn't get a kill but at least does fend them off it's going to be the inside execution they're certainly second guessing themselves now Big round here, of course. Swole Patrol looking to close things out of regulation if possible. Don't really have much resources to do so. A couple of rifles, an MP9, and pistols. JKS knows there was inside presence, but presumably it's fallen back at this stage. Zelsa is alone towards inner as we have four CTs towards outside bombsite. This is scary. If this is a 30 min, uh, 30 second set piece towards the inner bombsite late here, well, Swole Patrol might be predicting that is on the cards. They've already moved two members over into the site in forward positions, both towards the front of the bomb train, close towards the low ramp. This is going to get very, very messy. Grat to smoke. They have had good flashes around previously. 40 seconds now as the smoke outside is starting to fly out, trying to keep the CTs busy, pull out some utility and busy. They will be firing bullets. It's Zelsis. He's Managed to find a double. Freakazoid had their attention turned, and now it's time for that bomb plant. JKS realizes that's his job now. Got to fill that void. Good smoke point. towards Z. I wonder if that propels them forwards. There is a flank coming through. That's going to be Cooper. The danger man so far baits oh, out a shot and actually shot. gets the kill. This could actually get dangerous now. Gratis Faction pulls it back to a two-on-two. -two. No kits available, but rifles are looking for overtime. Both players stuck and connected, though, boys. They're running out of time here. We're at the halfway stage. JKS does enough. <laughs> he finishes thing in style, and everything has been reset at this point. We do find overtime. As I mentioned, it's MR3 16K. So, Swamp Patrol remain on the CT side, but Gratis Faction saved the day with this quick kill. Cooper did a great job, though, to even get one frag there towards the upper ramp. I don't know how Azza doesn't win that duel. Yeah, right? He had no a Krieg, idea. right? I'm pretty sure he had a creep. Yeah, it was a scope weapon. That it could have been Norg. He should never be like that's a that's a Chad level play right there. <laughs> yeah, well, Azza was around for the Chad level yeah, plays. He, he, saw learned from, he, learned, he, he learned from the best. Let's see how overtime starts. Will Swole Patrol keep this CT side momentum up? 
vying for control early. Marky will be incendiaried out. Throws one of his own. Yeah, you will be frustrated if you're Swole Patrol here. 15 13 up. Everything reset. Good first shot, though. Food position towards inside this time. Remember, he's playing towards Ivy in the majority of the time. Will we drop down? Zelsis, though, they know exactly where he is as he watches down from the upper ramp. Players all around him. Four versus three in favor of the CT side. Freakazoid arrives and should be able to get a kill on the bomb side. No problem here. Takes the bomb down as well. Yeah, this is looking fantastic from Swell Patrol. Credit to Zelsis for getting that one and then proceeding to cause a lot of problems for the remaining thieves just by surviving. Now he arrives, now he collects a double and disappears, evaporates from upper down into the site. Cooper has the drop, and this is a Swole Patrol round, almost as clean as can be. I can't sing the praises of how Zels has played that situation enough, right? The, the last kill there is actually the most impressive. He drops his own smoke so he can't get flanked from the box holes, right? That's fantastic, but just as he knows that's about to fade, he gets calls for a flash from his teammates. It doesn't blind JKS, but it's that teamwork that you're looking for. He hasn't just pivoted dry. He hasn't yeah. just stepped on out. He's done something as a team, and that is what we're looking for to see how teams are trending. So these are positive signs for Swole Patrol right here. They now, in overtime, are looking hot. Yeah, Jacob loves running straight to Sandwich, but they're ready for it. So prepared. And you can see that incendiary completely stops the supportive orping from Gratis Faction. As I couldn't join the party either, he's lost a lot of his health during that early fray. They've lost his opening pick time and time again. As of though, might be able to pull one back. He does spot the nades being thrown towards Ivy and Huge. the bomb train. Wow. That is big. As of coming online now, 14 kills to his name and now 15 points to his name as well. We'll see whether this is going to be enough as Marky will pull oh! one back. It's a good up beyond for the ace. One more, Zelsis is on the side. His head is there, and so is the spray. Ace from Azza. He's been quiet all train long, but that puts them back in the driving seat of overtime. Definitely didn't learn that one from me. Yeah, that was quite special, wasn't it? You could see him getting the information there from the grenades being thrown. Finds his opportunity to pounce. The first two are great, but then follows it up. They had no idea. He bolted up towards the bomb site and then gets an ace to close things out as well. Up to 17 after a fantastic ace there from the in-game leader. It is going to be 1-1, one, one, final round of overtime play here as Azza, feeling himself now, makes his way towards main entrance, and we're back into the double orb setup of Food and Cooper. This time more traditional, Food holding Ivy. It worked well for them in regulation, seeing the double orbs come out. Food was just flirting with some aggression there, but those have been scattered now by the flame. Run boosting Gratis Faction across to get this fight, and ooh, not quite. Pulls out the smoke of Food, 90 seconds still on the clock. That's good. Getting that util out of the Ivy player early is a promising sign for the T side. So much more to come, though. You can see Marky with his coordinated nade is supposed to be chipping away at Jacob, but plenty of his health left. He's going to do it again. Marky's giving it his best shot. A huge frag onto Jacob. No. Yes, and another. This time it's onto Jacob. Both members of the Thieves just shattered by that pop dog presence. That's kind of insane he gets away with that. The USP as well. Jacob and JKS made to look foolish as Marky collects his third. On for the ace now, another player towards main entrance. That's Liaz. 2-1 looking incredibly likely, almost locked in at this point. Gratis faction, five on one. And I think that's all they're gonna get. He does pull one kill back. That's about it. 2-1 for Swole Patrol. They'll take the lead as we swap things over to the T side for them now. And this is their map pick. Goes to overtime, but this was an impressive play from Marky to say the very least. Yeah, I, I think, you know, you look at the three rounds we just had in overtime right there. We had the Zelsus round towards the high round. We had the Azza round on the bomb train outside. And then we had the Marky round there in Pop Dogs with the individuals in overtime. They're stepping it up. Yeah, everyone's taking it in turns. Cooper's definitely had the most multi-kills off the top of my dome. 32 in slaying the game. We can see this lineup for that fast outside smoke. They want to get food out early. Throws his incendiary to try and create a closer smoke fast. And they have this wall of smokes they've created is enabling the turret that is food to find two early frags. Swole Patrol, they're looking for 18 oh, on yeah. their T side. And it's already looking promising. Another body drop. They're looking fantastic. Freakazoid double all onto JKS. And they are going to be one round away. There it is.
from picking up their map pick. What a great change of pace there, Chad. It's been quite a slow regulation T side from Swole Patrol. Lots of Ivy pressure, lots of execution and set pieces towards inside. This time completely changing things up straight towards outside there, finding the opening pick and Freak Sword going to town. This is what he was born to do. Get stuck in with the AK-47, hit his shots and he's delivering on all fronts here. That's a huge round for them to pick up and indeed they have found map points here on train once again. It was 15-13 in regulation and they couldn't close it out. Can they do it here in the first stage of overtime? Same team, same deficit. You're right, Henry. Let's see if they've got a better shot at it this time. Towards Ivy they go. Trading into Ivy they find themselves. 4v4. You see Jacob pushing main though. And I'm not sure if he's going to be anticipating the marquee swing. Oh, he saw him and frags him. Advantage seized for Swole Patrol. Yeah, indeed. This could be the one. A massive upset to kick off the North American region of EPL in the first map here. Holding onto the five on three. Still a lot of work to do with one minute 15 on the clock. All for grab as a pushing in towards main entrance. Marquis though has been impressive so far. Two players here, good trade potential. Smoke down towards Ivy. Molotov as well, similar to what Rush was telling us about earlier. Flashbang deployed as it needs at least a kill here. Flashes up towards main. Oh, I gotta get both. He gets zero. Four on two now. All has to save the day. Looks like we're all done. It's gonna be a four versus one. JKS, the inside player, couldn't be further away now as the bomb will be planted momentarily. He is known for his clutches, but I think this is one step too far. Yeah. Incredible from Marky. Triple kill, no less. And then Sendry's not gonna get him too far can play around the brain. Actually does force food into the fight. That's something. No kit for JKS just yet. And Cooper's AWP confirms it. Swole Patrol have done it. They pick Train up against the Thieves and they take it. Look at the world rankings next to those names. That is all that needs to be said about this matchup. And they overcome the Thieves on the first map.